Boeing's MH-139A Grey Wolf project has made significant progress, successfully transitioning into initial production following a successful final phase of testing for the U.S. Air Force. The completion of all stages of testing by the U.S. Air Force will allow the military to continue critical operational tests, and Boeing can focus on the development of the first mass-produced rotorcraft, said the head of the MH-139 program at Boeing, Azim Khan. The MH-139A Grey Wolf is designed to replace the UH-1N Huey helicopter, which is tasked with defending ICBMs on U.S. soil, as well as transporting VIPs and security personnel. The contract value of this project is approximately $2.4 billion, US dollars, and the first production aircraft is expected to be delivered to the customer in 2024. A contract has been signed for the supply of 84 MH-139A Grey Wolf helicopters for the U.S. Air Force. The delivery of all rotorcraft should be completed by 2031. The MH-139 helicopter was developed as a military variant of the AW-139 helicopter by Leonardo, which was responsible for the assembly of the helicopter, with Boeing providing the integration of military components. Manufacturers have previously suggested that the MH-139 could save the U.S. Air Force as much as $1 billion in acquisition and life cycle costs. Even with its conversion from a civilian configuration, Boeing has indicated that the military version of the AW-139 will be more cost-effective to acquire and operate over its life cycle compared to other models.